We had so many conversations with Honda to, to try to build something together, continue the project, if you like. Yeah. Was there anything, or what did they need to say to you that would have made you stay, that would have made you believe that there was a future? The problem is that um, words sometimes are not enough. Won a sprint on that bike, and we know Fabio won the race in Qatar. It's, it's a, a race winning bike, and now Grassini have got a tradition of winning. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, a part of jokes, um, I'm going to, to. Hello, welcome back to Checkered Flag. You could be forgiven for thinking that there was only one race today, but there were three. Moto 2 has a brand new superstar. Here are your highlights. This is it, has all come down to this, the final showdown. We are so lucky to be witnessing this. Welcome to the pit lane here in Valencia. 200,000 fans have been here across the weekend to witness this spectacle and it kicked off, didn't it, on Friday, but yesterday was something else in this championship. And although Peko qualified second, he will actually go from pole position today because Maverick Vinales, who was in pole He's got that better position. Speaking of which, as Davide Tardazzi walks through our shot, uh, Jorge Martin yesterday had almost the luxury of going behind his teammate, starting from behind Joan Zarco. That's changed now. He's going from behind Jack Miller, who actually had a problem on the start yesterday. He's going to be hoping that that doesn't happen today. Yeah, Jack has good pace this weekend. Plan A. There's no plan B. Prama have told us it's just to go out there and win and probably try and back it up to get those positions between himself and Peko Banyaya. So much to talk about this weekend. And of course, it's also the final week weekend for Mark Marquez with Honda. What a partnership that has been over the last 11 years, including at one point six premier victories over seven years. It's just a golden relationship, but now it's the end of that era. Gerard Zarco there playing uh, almost a father figure to Jorge Martin. It's fair to say the stars just didn't align for Jorge today. Neil, you called that race. So what did you make of it? Well, I've just about got my breath back. Literally, he will look back and think, maybe I panicked a little bit too much. Too late in the year, isn't it? It's actually too late in the day as well, because times were changed to try to not clash with the Formula One and so on. But really, when the temperature goes here at this time of year, it drops out. And we saw it on track, just 14 riders finishing. Today. Yeah, so many fast crashes as well in that horrible... I mean, it's come down to the final weekend. It came down to the final day. It, you know, it was absolutely fantastic. We've had a new format this year, the biggest change in format since the new era really with the sprint race who was that favoured do you think I mean, it's easy to say Jorge Martin because he won most of them but but was it a chance for Peko to have a look at the full hand of Jorge Martin do you think it was uh, being the stronger man on the Sunday on the longer race so it's difficult to see who it favoured I think he favoured us as <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> broadcasters and, and as Fan. fans that's what it was for because the ra those races have been amazing i mean it's been exciting entertaining we've had an extra race the, su the saturday is better now we've got more people on the tracks and that has been the, the biggest difference you know it's been um it's been just go home proud tonight can't they oh they left nothing out there both riders and that's what we, we said when we arrived here the, the the satellite team pushed the factory team so hard to the last day is brilliant it's a story in itself isn't it and we've got testing back so you can join us there but if it's the first time you've watched moto gp we hope that you enjoyed it and if you uh, haven't joined us for a while then that was some weekend wasn't it and uh, we want to say thank you so much for your company and goodbye for now from valencia until next year goodbye for you. But what an incredible champion he's been. The question is, of course, could he win another world championship? Now he's switching teams to Ducati. 100%. I think it's gonna, not going to take him very long to be fast on that, but we know how... If he finishes in the top five, he is the world champion. He retains the championship, Silva. It's so exciting. Four on the bounce then for Furman Aldegar. Exceptional. But what about this man? It's, it's been his last <laughs> race. How great it's been to watch you here and, and those 10 victories. Superb. How do you look at though? That's not too bad. I won't compare myself exactly, but definitely done the... I'm happy. Uh, today it was one of them races. I didn't quite have the pace I thought I had. It was That group was tight and the last few laps I just wanted to bring it home. I didn't want to... Fifth or seventh was not a big difference. If it could have had a podium, I'd have had a bit more of a, a, bit more of a go, but I definitely wanted to bring it home. Well, it, it has been a fantastic time, hasn't it? Having Sam in the podium. And I know you've been quite emotional today, Neil. Oh, we've, just, we've <laughs> had so much fun over the years. I remember when you won in Aragon and on the Thursday before you won in Aragon, we were in the motorhome. We were talking about press-ups and Sam went, Again. 
I can just do 100 press ups. <laughs> and I went, No, you can't. And he dropped down and did 100 press ups. The Jew was in agony. Yeah, my chest he kept was. Going to race and destroyed the field. He's, Sam's beaten the best that this paddock's ever seen. On his day, he's been incredible and had, like I say, a superb career. We're all so proud. And, Thank but you. you've oh, it's just been a pleasure, hasn't it, for us all? Mm. You've made us all laugh. Oh, you're not... so different to a moto team. Yeah, right. I think I would have felt a lot worse today if I didn't have some. How you feel after this? Because oh, no. Neil's given you his tribute, but we've spoken to a few other faces that you might recognise here. Going, I'm going. Marina's going over there. Oh, she's gone. She's absolutely gone. And it's because of Alex, actually. Yeah, it always is. Moving to something exciting, obviously, to spend more time with Alex. And, you know, it's going to be fantastic, but it's hard to let go, isn't it? I think... I think you realise that it's, it's the end of an era, Neil. Yeah. No, it's been unreal. I only feel 21, though. It's strange, really. I know. What did I say to you, though, at the start of the weekend when you went, oh, I just wish I'd done more? I went, Valentino Rossi retired with nine world championships yeah. and all he wanted was another one. Yeah. It's just natural that you're going to feel like that. Like, he is. Yeah. And this years. weekend, I was like, of course, I wanted to win or podium. What would you say your best moment was in Moto2 okay, okay, over all those years? Well, I think I've got an idea, but jacuzzi, I just, wasn't I just it? wanted to, to, Sam, to, to say... You, we had fun in the jacuzzi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. uh, and, and why as well? I think I've put seven of the last races, even the ones I did I wasn't good and those wins Sam the paddock is much more than that what what will you miss outside of actual race wins and podiums here? yeah I think when you're so into it yeah for sure Jack and Ruby and well, listen no. from all of us congratulations on what has been a fantastic tenure here in the Grand Prix thanks a lot that's all I can say it's a pleasure <laughs> love you good luck moving forward let's see the Moto3 highlights so finally, on the 20th race, Ayumi Sasaki takes that victory and perhaps becomes the people's champion this year. 100%. From that, at yeah. some point. We can't. OK, we can't. Well, let's take a short break then. Uh, when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll wrap up here and we'll get the ganging and we'll wrap up the MotoGP 2023 World Championship. See you in a couple of minutes. Michael Laverty and Gavin Emmett joining us here on Checkered Flag. How are you feeling about Jorge Martin there, Gav? Oh, proud of the season he should be. But <laughs> early on in the race, oh, dear me. Because you just... wanted and then a couple of laps oh. later it was, oh. Like someone popped my balloon. Yeah. But anyway. Okay, and Michael, how much, how significant is it that, you know, effectively a satellite team, as close as it is to the factory, have pushed the factory to the point where their nerves were jangling right up until this morning? Yeah, yeah on the spec is great, isn't it? But I suppose Pramac did win the, you know, with Jorge yeah. and um, Joanne, they did win the team's title, which is fantastic. You've already had the invite to the party, Susie. Yeah. So they were already planning a party come what way this evening. That <laughs> I was, think they that was this morning. They themselves there, though. Invite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's from We all, We all did. Oh, sorry, Neil. That's awkward, isn't it? Yeah, very. Yeah, <clears throat> they can be proud of themselves. And, and what about Mark then on that Ducati for next year? I mean, it's it's easy to be grand wise about the whole thing. Oh, five laps and he'll be on. He's got to change his style. He's actually going to be probably a little bit secondhand on Tuesday after that massive high side. Even Mark will be secondhand there. I mean, that was huge today. Although I did just see him walk I know, up to there. Fun. and he... Let's just relive what's happened today, Michael, for anybody that may have missed this. Uh, because there's not many people that can get up and walk all... The controversy continues. It never goes away, does it? We can see him on a Ducati on Tuesday morning, 8.45 TNT Sports 4. Anyway, everybody, she's here. The, the Nacho of Liberty. <laughs> this one, sometimes she's interviewing somebody and Neil says it every He said, is Taylor McKenzie standing on a box? Because that's like, that's absolutely true. Have you enjoyed the day? What's been your highlight? What's the grid for you? Because it's so busy. Sometimes I can't see you and I want you to almost have a helium balloon on your head so we can just see who you're interviewing because it, it gets, you've got to get your elbows out, haven't you? Valentino as well. You did a cracking job. Uh, Gavin, final thoughts. Uh, highlights for you this year? Uh, highlight, I want to say, I absolutely Absolutely love that race. I think they're maybe tied. The, the back to backs have been amazing. Go on then, Silva. What's been your highlight? Oh, for me, I mean, I was devastated not to have been there. Hey! Oh, I did. Hey! Shot. I did. Shot. And, and he did. And also, what, oh, what, what about Indonesia for you that you thought was going to be boring? I know. Hey, how many times this year did I get it wrong? <laughs> I'm like, I've just not got a 